Mastering the reporting of will, would, and shall in English. Hello and welcome back, learners. In today's video, we're diving deep into the world of reported speech. Specifically, we're going to focus on the role of will, would, and shall in reported speech. So, let's start this exciting journey. Before we jump into our specific topic, let's do a quick refresher on reported speech. Reported speech is when we tell someone what another person said. To do this, we often change the tenses and pronouns to match the point of view of the speaker. Understanding this concept will make it easier to grasp how to use will, would, and shall in reported speech. Next up, let's get a handle on these three modal verbs, will, would, and shall. Will is often used to talk about future events or to show a willingness to do something. Would is the past form of will, and it's used to talk about hypothetical situations or past habits. Shall is a more formal way of saying will, and it's often used to ask for advice or to make suggestions. Now that we've covered the basics, let's dive into how we report will, would, and shall. When we're reporting something that used will, we often change will to would. For example, if someone says, I will go to the park, you might report that as, he said he would go to the park. When we're reporting, would, or, shall, they usually stay the same. For example, she said, I would like a coffee, can be reported as, she said she would like a coffee. Similarly, he said, I shall return, can be reported as, he said he shall return. It's important to note that context matters and the rules can change based on the speaker, the listener, and the situation. Practice is the key to mastering any language skill, so let's try some practice sentences. 1. Direct speech. I will study for the exam. Reported speech. She said she would study for the exam. 2. Direct speech. We shall overcome the challenge. Reported speech. They said they shall overcome the challenge. 3. Direct speech. I would love to visit Paris. Reported speech. He said he would love to visit Paris. And that's it for today's lesson on reporting will, would, and shall. Remember, language is a skill, and the more you practice, the better you'll get. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, they are stepping stones to success. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope this lesson has been useful. Keep practicing, and I'll see you in the next video.